أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم By those who range themselves in ranks and so are strong in repelling evil and thus proclaim the message of Allah Verily, verily your God is one Lord of the heavens and of the earth and all between them and Lord of every point at the rising of the sun. We have indeed decked the lower heaven with beauty in the stars. For beauty and for God against all obstinate rebellious evil spirits. So, they should not strain their ears in the direction of the exalted assembly, but be cast away from every side. Repulsed, for they are under a perpetual penalty except such as snatch away something by stealth, and they are pursued by a flaming fire of piercing brightness. Just ask their opinion, are they the more difficult to create, or the other beings we have created? Them have we created out of a sticky clay. Truly do you marvel while they ridicule. And, when they are admonished, pay no heed. And, when they see a sign, turn it to mockery. And say, this is nothing but evident sorcery. What, when we die and become dust and bones, shall we then be raised up again? And also our fathers of old? Say you, yea, and you shall then be humiliated on account of your evil. Then it will be a single compelling cry, and behold, they will begin to see. They will say, Ah, woe to us, this is the day of judgment. A voice will say, This is the day of sorting out whose truth you once denied. Bring you up, it shall be said, the wrongdoers and their wives and the things they worship. Besides Allah, and lead them to the way to the fierce fire. But stop them, for they must be asked. What is the matter with you, that you help not each other? Nay, but that day they shall submit to judgment. And they will turn to one another, and question one another. They will say, It was you who used to come to us from the right hand of power and authority. They will reply, Nay, you yourselves had no faith, nor had we any authority over you. Nay, it was you who were people in obstinate rebellion. So now has been proved true against us the word of our Lord that we shall indeed have to taste the punishment of our sins. We led you astray, for truly we were ourselves astray. Truly, that day they will all share in the penalty. Verily, that is how we shall deal with sinners. For they, when they were told that there is no God except Allah, would puff themselves up with pride. And say, what, shall we give up our gods for the sake of a poet possessed? Nay, he has come with the very truth and he confirms the message of the messengers before him. You shall indeed taste of the grievous penalty. But it will be no more than the retribution of the evil that you have wrought. But the sincere and devoted servants of Allah, for them is a sustenance determined. Fruits, delights, and they shall enjoy honor and dignity. In gardens of felicity, facing each other on thrones of dignity, round will we pass to them a cup from a clear flowing fountain crystal white, of a taste delicious to those who drink thereof. Free from headiness, nor will they suffer intoxication therefrom. And besides them will be chaste women, restraining their glances with big eyes of wonder and beauty, as if they were delicate eggs closely guarded. Then they will turn to one another and question one another, who used to say, What? 
Are you amongst those who bear witness to the truth of the message? When we die and become dust and bones, shall we indeed receive rewards and punishments? A voice said, Would you like to look down? He looked down and saw him in the midst of the fire. He said, By Allah, you were little short of bringing me to perdition. Had it not been for the grace of my Lord, I should certainly have been among those brought there. Is it the case that we shall not die? Except our first death and that we shall not be punished. Verily, this is the supreme achievement. For the like of this let all strive who wish to strive. Is that the better entertainment or the tree of Zikkum? For we have truly made it as a trial for the wrongdoers. For it is a tree that springs out of the bottom of hellfire. The shoots of its fruit stalks are like the heads of devils. Truly, they will eat thereof and fill their bellies therewith. Then, on top of that, they will be given a mixture made of boiling water. Then shall their return be to the blazing fire. Truly, they found their fathers on the wrong path. So they too were rushed down on their footsteps. And, truly before them, many of the ancients went astray. But we sent aforetime among them messengers to admonish them. Then see what was the end of those who were admonished, but he did not. Except the sincere and devoted servants of Allah. In the days of old, Noah cried to us, and we are the best to hear prayer. And we delivered him and his people from the great calamity, and made his progeny to endure on this earth. And we left this blessing for him among generations to come in later times. Peace and salutations to Noah among the nations. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right. For he was one of our believing servants. Then the rest we overwhelmed in the flood. Verily among those who followed his way was Abram. Behold, he approached his Lord with a sound heart. Behold, he said to his father and to his people, What is that which you worship? Is it a falsehood, gods other than Allah that you desire? Then what is your idea about the Lord of the worlds? Then did he cast a glance at the stars. And he said, I am indeed sick at heart. So they turned away from him and departed. Then did he turn to their gods and said, Will you not eat of the offerings before you? What is the matter with you that you speak not intelligently? Then did he turn upon them, striking them with the right hand. Then came the worshippers with hurried steps and faced him. He said, Worship you that which you have yourselves carved? But Allah has created you and your handiwork. They said, Build him a furnace and throw him into the blazing fire. This failing, they then sought a stratagem against him, but we made them the ones most humiliated. He said, I will go to my Lord, he will surely guide me. O oh my Lord, grant me a righteous son. So we gave him the good news of a boy ready to suffer and forbear. Then when the son reached the age of serious work with him, he said, O oh my son, I see in vision that I offer you in sacrifice. Now see what is your view. The son said, O oh my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me, if Allah so wills, the one practicing patience and constancy. So, when they had both submitted their wills to Allah, and he had laid him prostrate on his forehead for sacrifice, we called out to him, O Abram, 
You have already fulfilled the vision. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right. For this was obviously a trial. And we ransomed him with a momentous sacrifice. And we left this blessing for him among generations to come in later times. Peace and salutation to Abram. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right. For he was one of our believing servants. And we gave him the good news of Isaac, a prophet, one of the righteous. We blessed him and Isaac, but of their progeny are some that do right, and some that obviously do wrong to their own souls. Again of old we bestowed our favor on Moses and Aaron, and we delivered them and their people from their great calamity, and we helped them so they overcame their troubles, and we gave them the book which helps to make things clear. And we guided them to the straight way. And we left this blessing for them among generations to come in later times. Peace and salutation to Moses and Aaron. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right. For they were two of our believing servants. So also was Elias among those sent by us. Behold, he said to his people, Will you not fear Allah? Will you call upon Baal and forsake the best of creators? Allah, your Lord and Cherisher, and the Lord and Cherisher of your fathers of old? But they rejected him, and they will certainly be called up for punishment. Except the sincere and devoted servants of Allah among them, and we left this blessing for him among generations to come in later times. Peace and salutation to such as Elias. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right, for he was one of our believing servants. So also was Lut among those sent by us. Behold, we delivered him and his adherents all, except an old woman who was among those who lagged behind. Then we destroyed the rest. Verily, you pass by their sights by day, and by night will you not understand? So also was Jonah among those sent by us. When he ran away like a slave from captivity to the ship fully laden, he agreed to cast lots, and he was condemned. Then the big fish did swallow him, and he had done acts worthy of blame. Had it not been that he repented and glorified Allah, he would certainly have remained inside the fish till the day of resurrection. But we cast him forth on the naked shore in a state of sickness, and we caused to grow over him a spreading plant of the good kind and we sent him on a mission to a hundred thousand men or more. And they believed, so we permitted them to enjoy their life for a while. Now ask them their opinion, is it that your Lord has only daughters and they have sons? Or that we created the angels female and they are witnesses thereto? Is it not that they say from their own invention, Allah has begotten children, but they are liars. Did he then choose daughters rather than sons? What is the matter with you? How judge you? Will you not then receive admonition? Or have you an authority manifest? Then bring you your book of authority, if you be truthful. And they have invented a blood relationship between him and the genes. But the genes know quite well that they have indeed to appear before his judgment seat. Glory to Allah, he is free from the things they ascribe to him. Not so do the servants of Allah, sincere and devoted. For verily neither you nor those you worship 
can lead any to temptation concerning Allah, except such as are themselves going to the blazing fire. Those ranged in ranks say, Not one of us but has a place appointed, and we are verily ranged in ranks for service, and we are verily those who declare Allah's glory. And there were those who said, If only we had had before us a message from those of old, we should certainly have been servants of Allah, sincere and devoted. But now that the Qur'an has come, they rejected, but soon they will know. Already has our word been passed before this to our servants sent by us, that they would certainly be assisted, and that our forces they surely must conquer. So turn you away from them for a little while, and watch them how they fare, and they soon shall see how you fare. Do they wish indeed to hurry on our punishment? But when it descends into the open space before them, evil will be the morning for those who were warned and heeded not. So turn you away from them for a little while, and watch how they fare, and they soon shall see how you fare. Glory to your Lord, the Lord of honor and power. He is free from what they ascribe to him. And peace on the messengers. And praise to Allah, the Lord and cherisher of the worlds.